Hello and welcome to my new video about Dustlight 4. Uh, this video is for all beginners and all newbies in Dustlight 4 and I will try to give you a short quest, uh, crash course in this uh, uh, software and how to use it very easily. So I will uh, explain everything a little bit in short time. If you want to make uh, in some section more uh, detailed videos, check out my playlist for more uh, videos and informations. So. The program has uh, uh, totally uh, four sections, patch, edit, edit, live and show mode. So um, first of all, let's uh, we need some lights. So I will uh, add some uh, generic RGB lights like a uh, parkan or something else. So um, I select the, uh, the RGB um, light uh, parkan and I also want to add not one. I think I will add uh, eight uh, fixtures and click here on patch to have it in my program. And then you can see here down below, uh, these are our eight park hands, for example. So um, then we are um, good to go on the patch and go to the next section like the edit mode. And here in the edit mode, you can create scenes and good looking stuff. Um, first of all, you must create a group. Normally it's created, the first group is automatically created. And you can see here we have group one and click here on the plus button to create a new scene. So we have a different kind of uh, hierarchy in this thing. We have uh, in the first place the group, then under the group comes the scene. So uh, one group contain uh, an until unlimited number of scenes and uh, every scenes can contain a different kind or a, a unlimited number of steps. So um, I think uh, let's start with the uh, with our park hands very quickly. We can select here with uh, the faders RGB if we want, but uh, normally it's easier to create with the effect uh, FX generator. So you yeah, click here on the effect and um, you can also see you don't see your lights. So I, I think it's very um, neat that you click here on this button and it fits uh, directly in your screen that you see everything what you want. And then um, we create um, uh, the pixel effect. So I, m before I can create this, I must select on which uh, uh, fixtures I want to create this pixel effect and then click here on add pixel effect. And you can see we have directly a nice good looking rainbow effect. Uh, and I will set this here to generate. You don't uh, must to change here nothing because it's only the default settings. And I will click here on generate and you can see uh, now the steps are automatically created. Um, and for example, I think let's create another effect. I will also click here on add pixel effect and select, for example, the really good lice effect of the Knight Rider. I think everyone knows this series. So um, I think here again, I click here on generate and then we have the second uh, or the third scene. So um, I think uh, to not good uh, to organize a little bit everything, we must here uh, select this and uh, say call it Knight Rider. And we renamed everything and also uh, the scene two. Uh, I call it Rainbow, for example. And then you have a go also good looking scenes. I think this is a very uh, short overview of the editor, uh, the edit mode. And uh, let's uh, switch over to the live mode. And here it's like you can uh, fire up your scenes. And uh, here we have uh, our scenes that we already created in the edit mode. And you can click here of the scene and you see the scene is running and here we can click on our rainbow and then you can create uh, uh, start your really good scene. And uh, for example, you can use it for uplighting or something else. And uh, we can also switch to Knight Rider and you also have the possibility with different release types, but I will also explain it to you in another video because I don't want to make it a too long video of this. And it's also a crash guide for you and uh, for also if you want to start with the software. So then um, let's move over to the show mode. The show mode has also some nice possibilities. Um, for example, if you're using an iPad or something else, you can create your own scenes here. Um, I must click here on the on the add button to add a button and you can select uh, what we want for example i want to create an, uh, a button for the for the rainbow effect and i can select here the rainbow uh, custom name and i also can say how big is the button for example i can say four to four by example and I also can select uh, something like text color and icons and so on and so on 
But uh, important is that you must here the association is selected. Uh, first of all, we must delete this here and then click here on the plus button and found out uh, our scene. So I select here uh, the, the scenes in the group. For example, we want to make select the rainbow and you can also see what action is going on. So you can say I want only if I press this button, the uh, scene will play or will stop or both. So I will select, select play and uh, stop. So we, we can start and stop the scene very easily. So then if I click on OK, you can see we have here our big button. And um, if I press this button, you can see on the, on the right uh, bottom here, our rainbow scene is created. And then you have a really, really big variety what you can do with this uh, show mode. And you can also uh, use uh, your iPad as a remote and uh, then you can control everything very easily over your touch display and everything is good. And if you want to um, get a more detailed view on the uh, each section, uh, take a look in the playlist and there will, I will um, explain it a little bit more detailed. And I hopefully you um, liked my uh, short uh, beginner's guide uh, for Dustlight 4. And if you have any other questions about Dustlight 4, uh, write me a comment under in the comment section and I will try to help you out as soon as I can. And I also welcome you to uh, visit my Facebook page and um, there you can find more information about me, about uh, the invent uh, industry and also some uh, nice funny light videos and also uh, some nice content. At the end I will say practice and enjoy.